All right, here's a quick video to show you how to make status send out synchronized control changes. The reason you want this is because Line 6, Behringer, Free the Tone, and T-Rex pedals use those instead of syncing up to MIDI clock. Status will take an incoming MIDI clock or the MIDI clock that it generates, and on every quarter note, it'll send out a synchronized control change, and that'll keep your Line 6 and Behringer pedals in sync with all your other pedals that do sync up to MIDI clock. Status has this feature turned off by default, so to turn it on, you need to go to the Globals menu. To get there, you hold down the button while powering Status on. Now to go through the globals menu, you press the button a number of times until you get up to the one that says tap CC. Turn the knob to turn the feature on, then press the button again, and here's where you select the controller number. Behringer and Line 6 both use 64. If you want to use a different number, you just turn the knob to select it, then press again, and now you have to select the channel, the MIDI channel that this is going to go out on. The default is channel 1. You can use any other channel you want. Just make sure that this channel is the same as the pedal that's receiving the information. Once you've selected the same channel as your pedal, hold down the button and your globals will be saved. Now anytime that status receives an incoming MIDI clock or is sending out its own MIDI clock, it's going to send out those control changes on every quarter note to sync up your Line 6 and Behringer pedals. You can also set this feature up using our online globals programmer available over at stepaudio.net.